The next show to spin, combo I like very much, and now I do my best to do a tutorial. I'm trying to break down in different steps uh, so you can follow along. Um, prerequisites are the next spin, like this, from inwards, and the shoulder spin pretty high up at the shoulder. Um, starting here with uh, spinning on the surface side, spinning inwards. And what you first do is to spin behind your, behind your neck and behind the shoulder. So not like the usual neck spin where you spin around your neck and come down in front, but this time you spin behind your neck and your shoulder, but then the handle comes up in front again. And from this point, uh, you add an arm movement, so the arm goes in a kind of hello motion. And the whip also spins in that direction. You don't, you don't grab the handle, I just demonstrate now um, that the movements are going in the same direction. And then you guide the, the whip with your arm behind your back, but it comes off there and spins around again. Uh, so you really take your arm behind. So to that point, spinning inwards to here, and then you can at first just let the uh, whip come off your shoulder like from the next spin, and spin again here on more plane. So spin behind your neck and your shoulder, come up in front, and direct it with your arm uh, behind you. Like this. Showing this from the side. Spin here. Like this. And there you see this arm goes pretty far behind to uh, for the accent for the fibers. But they really spin around behind your back. Once again. To here. And I'll show you from the other side. Spinning inwards around neck and shoulder. And then add this arm movement to guide the whip around. The next step is that you add another movement with a spinning hand. So if I rested just here at the shoulder and took over the spinning when the whip came around the next time. And now you move this hand over your hand to the opposite shoulder. It looks like this. So the moment when the, the whip passes here and uh, exits here on the, the wall plane behind your back, that is the moment where you lift the, the hand here over the, over the head and to the opposite side. So it's uh, kind of this movement that you do and then the whip exits here on the other side. Show it once again. And then you can at first, when you practice, just let the whip spin around and come off in front. Showing this from the side. Like so. And from the other angle. Like so. When you got that, you add the shoulder spin. So instead of just letting the whip just spin on your wall plane uh, again, you take that arm in front to catch the whip and then add the shoulder spin. And with the shoulder spin, you turn 180 degrees to the uh, opposite side. And there you add the same thing just for the other side. So spinning here inwards to here. And then come in front with the arm to catch the whip. Do a shoulder spin. And then I do a handoff and immediately you can go into the, uh, into the other direction. Um, at first you'll probably do some extra spins in between. So once again. So. And show this from the side so that you see the arm movement. And I'm 
Story gehen habe. Ich schaue hier von this angle. Then you're on the other side, so you need it all for the other hand. Uh, again, I do a handoff in between, but then for the way back, I do it all on the other side. So, so showing it now for the other side, spinning inwards here on the piece lady side. And the first step is to spin behind your head, behind your leg, and behind your shoulder. So not just not just in front like for the regular leg spin, but we spin. Behind the shoulder, but the whip comes up here in front, and then you guide it with this kind of hello movement, uh, spinning behind your back where it exits. And for, at first, you can just uh, get it back spinning on your wall plane when it leaves the shoulder. So, show this once again, like so. Show it from the side, so you see the arm movement, like this, and show it from the other angle, so it's like this. When you got that, you add the extra movement with the hand that goes from the shoulder where you hold it for the, for the spinning over the head to the opposite side. So let me spin it here. The whip leaves here behind um, behind your back. That is the point where you've got a straight line here, where you lift your, your hand over the head on the, on the other. So the whip is here now on the other shoulder, and then it spins off from there. So once again in motion, like so. Time. Show this from the side. And from the other angle. Like so. When you got that, you add the arm spin, so the arm that was pretty far behind to guide the fibers there for the exit comes, come, comes to the front again to catch the whip and then by turning you uh, guide it on the, on the opposite of the plane. And you spin inwards and here add the shoulder spin and turn to the opposite wall plane. Once again. Here, shoulder spin to there. Showing that from this angle, spinning here. There you are. And showing it from this angle. As for the footwork, I got really sloppy footwork because I'm in socks on the wood floor and you can just spin and turn around however you like. Uh, if you're out of concrete or on grass, you'll need a lot cleaner footwork. So for the turn, you'll probably really do a step around and then for the way back, another step around. Um, but don't heat my footwork too much. For putting it together, doing it back and forth, there's a handoff in between. Um, so I'm showing it from the side now, so you're here, and there is the handoff. When the whip comes off the, off the shoulder, spins in front, there I catch it with that hand. And at first you'll probably do some extra spins in between before you go from the other direction. And I ah, caught on the arm. Here is is the handoff then for the other direction. At first, do some extra spins in between, and eventually, you can just go back and forth right into the next um, spin around your neck and your shoulder. So, this. Yeah. 
like this. I hope you like it and put it in your flow once in a while.